Jalal Talabani Arabic Jalal Talbani Jalal Talabani 1933 to 3 October 2017 was an Iraqi Kurdish politician who served as president of Iraq from 2006 to 2014 as well as the president of the governing council of Iraq He was the first non-Arab president of Iraq although Abdul Karim Qasim was of partial Kurdish heritage He is known as Mam Jalal Uncle Jalal in the Middle East the surname Talibani means scholar in native Kurdish. Talibani was the founder and secretary general of one of the main Kurdish political parties, the Patriotic Union of Kurdistan Puk. He was a prominent member of the Interim Iraq Governing Council, which was established following the overthrow of Saddam Hussein in the 2003 invasion of Iraq. Talibani was an advocate for Kurdish rights and democracy in Iraq for more than 50 years. Apart from his native Kurdish, Talibani was fluent in Arabic, Persian, and English. He was also able to speak French to a good proficiency. <laughs> Early life and education Talibani was born in Kelkan village, of the Koishanjak branch of the Talibani family. The Talibani lineage has produced many leading social figures including the poet Reza Talibani, his grandfather, Abd al-Karim Qasim Prime Minister 1958 and former National Democratic Party's member Hassan Talibani and Makaram Talibani, a prominent member of the Communist Party. Talibani received his elementary and intermediate school education in Koya and his high school education in Erbil and Kirkuk. When he was in his teens, Talibani's peers began referring to him as Mam Jalal, as Mam meaning paternal uncle in Kurdish, and the Kurds have called him by this affectionate name ever since. In 1957, during the final year of his studies for a degree in law at Baghdad University, he was expelled because of his political activities. Topic Career Topic Rights for Kurds When in September 1961, the Kurdish uprising for the rights of the Kurds in northern Iraq was declared against the Baghdad government of Abdul Karim Qasim, Talibani took charge of the Kirkuk and Silamani battle fronts and organized and led separatist movements in Mawit, Rezin and the Karada regions. In March 1962, he led a coordinated offensive that brought about the liberation of the district of Shahbaja from Iraqi government forces. When not engaged in fighting in the early and mid-1960s, Talibani undertook numerous diplomatic missions, representing the Kurdish leadership at meetings in Europe and the Middle East. The Kurdish separatist movement collapsed in March 1975, after Iran ended their support in exchange for a border agreement with Iraq. This agreement was the 1975 Algiers Agreement, where Iraq gave up claims to the Shat al-Arab waterway and Kutenstan, which later became the basis for the Iran-Iraq War. Believing it was time to give a new direction to the Kurdish separatists and to the Kurdish society, Talibani, with a group of Kurdish intellectuals and activists, founded the Kurdish Patriotic Union of Kurdistan In 1976, he began organizing an armed campaign for Kurdish independence inside Iraqi Kurdistan. During the 1980s, Talibani sided with Iran and led a Kurdish struggle from bases inside Iraq until the crackdown against Kurdish separatists from 1987 to 1988. In 1991, he helped inspire a renewed effort for Kurdish independence. He negotiated a ceasefire with the Iraqi Ba'athist government that saved the lives of many Kurds and worked closely with the United States, United Kingdom, France and other countries to set up the safe haven in Iraqi Kurdistan. In 1992 the Kurdistan regional government was founded, Talibani pursued a negotiated settlement to the Iraqi Kurdish civil war, as well as the larger issue of Kurdish rights in the current regional context. 
He worked closely with other Kurdish politicians as well as the rest of the Iraqi opposition factions. In close coordination with Massoud Barzani, Talibani and the Kurds played a key role as a partner of the U.S.-led coalition in the invasion of Iraq. Talibani was a member of the Iraqi Governing Council which negotiated the Transitional Administrative Law Tal, Iraq's interim constitution. The Tal governed all politics in Iraq and the process of writing and adopting the final constitution. Presidency Talibani was elected president of Iraq on April 6, 2005, by the Iraqi National Assembly and sworn into office the following day. On the 22nd of April 2006, Talibani began his second term as president of Iraq, becoming the first president elected under the country's new constitution. His office was part of the Presidency Council of Iraq. Morshawan Mustafa was Talibani's deputy until Mustafa resigned in 2006 and formed an opposition party called Goran. He supported Barzani's extended presidency of the Kurdistan region post 2013. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Personal life. Talibani was married to Hero Ibrahim Ahmed, daughter of Ibrahim Ahmed, a lieutenant of Mullah Mustafa. He has two sons, Bafal and Kubad. Kubad is the deputy prime minister of the Kurdistan regional government in Erbil. He grew up in London during his formative years. <laughs> Health and death On 18 December 2012, Talibani suffered a stroke and was in intensive care in Baghdad, where his condition eventually stabilized after reports that he was in a coma. A statement on the president's official website said that he was being treated for blocked arteries. On 20 December, Talibani's condition had improved enough to allow travel to Germany for treatment. The head of Talibani's medical team in Iraq has been Governor Najmuddin Karim. On 19 July 2014, Jalal Talibani returned to Iraq after more than 18 months of medical treatment. Due to his absence from politics, as a result of his illness, the puck became consumed by a succession crisis. Jalal Talibani died on 3 October 2017, at the age of 83, in Berlin, Germany, of a cerebral hemorrhage as complications of the stroke he suffered in 2012. Masoud Barzani, president of Kurdistan regional government and for years his Kurdish rival, announced seven days of mourning in Iraqi Kurdistan in memory of Talibani. Iraqi Prime Minister Haider al-Abadi also announced three days of mourning in the country. His state funeral was held on 6 October 2017. Millions turned out across the cities and memorials were held across the globe. 